Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, what up? So you guys, I'm here for my December perfume tray. I am so ready to switch out the perfumes that were on my November tray. I got really good use out of all of these perfumes and some of them are even going to be staying on the tray for this month of December because I just really wanna explore them some more, especially because I've come up with some bomb combinations with most of these. So yeah, some of them are going to be staying, but I am really, really excited to be pulling in some new perfumes for December because a lot of the ones that I'm pulling, these are like my winter staples these are scents that i really love for the winter time so i'm excited to get into some new fragrances so let's actually get started i'm going to show you guys the ones that i'm keeping on my tray so for sure i'm keeping my owl rehab choco musk perfume i have raved about this perfume since i've gotten it if you guys have seen any of my previous videos then you know that i have been hyping this up and i really do enjoy it and i've only got a tiny bit of use on it but i really have been loving it so i want to keep this in um, I also am going to keep in my Kayali Vanilla 28, surprisingly, but I did come up with a really bomb combo for that fragrance as well. And I'm trying to get out some of my body care scents by the time winter is over. So I need that in here. So that is going to stay. And then I'm also going to be keeping in my Valentino Donna Born in Roma, my favorite scent of all time, because I just didn't really use this one as much. Like I told you guys, because I have so many new perfumes to my collection and things that I just want to use a lot of, I really Really haven't been using my favorite like that so I want to keep that one in and I believe that is everything that I'm going to be keeping in everything else I got really good use on it um these two little travel size sprays I got good use on those I just wanted to kind of use these a bit I had the Dolce & Gabbana the only one and then I also had Vanilla Sky by um Skylar these two are really really nice but I just want to take those out and um, my most used perfume on this tray was actually my Truly Unicorn Fruit Perfume. Look at the dent that I put in this bad boy, you guys. And that's because I was using it with my Taraji P. Henson Body Cream. And I thought these paired so well together. So I pretty much was on my way to using up this perfume, really. But I'm ready to pull it out. And then everything else is gonna go. Y'all know I love my Billie Eilish. I wanna keep it in, but it's gotta go. Because if I, if I keep that in, I'm not gonna use my other things okay so if you guys have any questions about the perfumes that i had on my previous tray you already know leave it down in the comments and i will be sure to answer those questions if you guys want to check out the layering combinations that i did with some of these perfumes then i will definitely link that video in the cards but let's get started with the perfumes that i'm putting on my new tray so the first one is going to be my ariana grande cloud intense I love cloud all year round. It's a go-to staple. This is one of my most used and most repurchased perfumes of all time, okay? It never smells bad. I never dislike it. It's a really light, fluffy, marshmallow, coconut praline scent to me. It's very airy and whipped, almost like a cloud, you know? And it's just one of my favorites. Like, it's definitely top five, okay? After I'm done with this one, which I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, I'm literally down to like right here on this perfume. This is a 100 mil and I've already repurchased the original. I have the original in a 30 mil, which I will start working on as soon as this one is done. I love this perfume. That would be my third bottle of this perfume. So I'm obsessed. It's safe to say I'm obsessed. Okay, and then the opposite of that, a perfume that I'm bringing in, one that's not my favorite, but I really just, I need to use it. I have it and I need to use it. And that is my Killian Angel Share. I know so many people go crazy over this perfume, but it, it really is just not a fave of mine. And I need to use it and figure out more ways to enjoy it because it's not bad. I don't dislike the scent enough to get rid of it. It's just, I don't enjoy it. Like I don't want to reach for it. I'm not intrigued by it. I'm not happy to use it, you know? So the bottle is stunning, but I just sit there and look at it, but not this month. I'm adding it into the tray we're gonna use it and we're gonna figure out ways to enjoy it i know last year i mixed it with pumpkin pecan waffles and that combination is great but it's a little bit too heavy because this perfume is already very hair very not hairy very heavy very syrupy and y'all know pumpkin pumpkin pecan waffles is the same way so i need to figure out more ways to just use and enjoy that one we'll see Okay, and then the next fragrance that I'm gonna be bringing in is this one. This is John B, B Seduced Girl. This is a dupe for Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. It has the exact same notes. 
um i love how this perfume starts off it's so unique it's like a lemon freshy citrus and almond and then it morphs into this like white florals mixed with cocoa praline tonka bean vanilla patchouli like it has really really good base notes and it's super well blended so it's a very sexy and pretty fragrance but it's so balanced that it could be used on an everyday basis like it could really be a signature scent but it's still sexy enough to be used for like date nights and nights out and special occasions and things like that so i really do like that fragrance um if you wanted a cheaper alternative than carolina herrera's good girl that's a good one i got mine from a perfume shop in the mall and it was literally like 30 dollars okay um so then oh one of my favorites one of my favorites you guys i'm bringing in my dior poison girl edt the edt because i know a lot of people have the edp as well i rave about the edt i mean look at that dent this is a 100 ml bottle so good i used this last year and i was obsessed this is such a beautiful scent to me it smells like caramel covered oranges and rose in a nutshell like simple it's super pretty um it's deep but it's not too deep it just has a depth to it so um i love the old perfume house rose that's in this fragrance it fits perfectly usually i'm not a fan of rose i'm not a fan of old perfume house rose because it can come off smelling mature and outdated you know and i don't love that but this this right here is a beauty and i love it during the winter time okay so pulling that one in um and next we have a classic a favorite you know everybody loves this one well most people love this fragrance this is black opium a classic okay um i feel like i haven't used her all year so i just wanted to throw her in here this is a bold and sweet white floral whipped coffee scent to me like it has a splash of coffee in addition to those beautiful white florals and it's gorgeous nonetheless it's popular for a reason and back when i didn't have a lot of perfumes i this was my absolute favorite i went through so many of these like a ton of sample sizes and deluxe size bottles that i would get from sephora i had this fragrance from scentbird i made people sign up for scentbird just so i can get this in like my scentbird atomizer so i love this fragrance i still do really enjoy it it's not one of my favorites anymore as far as like top five top three but i still love and enjoy this fragrance and i had to because i bought a full 100 ml bottle i think it was either i think it was the end of 2020 i bought this 100 ml bottle and i have used a good bit of it like you know i really do enjoy black opium okay so next i'm going to be bringing in listen I really dislike y'all for selling out this perfume before I could get a backup. I really dislike y'all because I have not seen this one come back in stock for months. And I'm kind of upset about it. But you know what? I ain't gonna be too upset because there, there's people out there who didn't get their hands on this at all. So I guess I can't be too upset. But dang, before I could get a backup, y'all sold this one out and it hasn't come back. This is my Kenzo Flower La Elixir. And this is another one that I love to pull out during the winter time. I was using it all last winter. So I don't know if you guys can see, but mine has a little dent in it right there. So listen, what can be said about Kenzo Flower La Elixir? Jesus, it is so good. This is a grown-up version of a sweet dessert, okay? This is powdery raspberry jam donut, but make it grown and not toothachingly sweet. I am obsessed with the jammy citrus opening. The opening reminds me a lot of Valentino Donna Born in Roma. It reminds me a lot of Jessica Simpson's signature. You know, like it's something deeply tart and sweet. But then as it dries down, it gets lighter and fluffier from the powder, the vanilla, the praline. It's a gorgeous balance. And there's a reason why this was sought after and I don't know why they discontinued this. Like, I don't know why the Kenzo brand discontinued this, but I will be holding on to my bottle. I will be using it, but using it sparingly because I really do enjoy this fragrance. This is not one that I want to run through, like where I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I'm just going to use it up and, and finish the whole bottle in three months. No, that's not one I want to run through. I want to have that for years to come and enjoy it, okay? So next, I'm bringing in another favorite. I just had this on my perfume tray for, what was it, September? or october i don't really care this is my misguided boss babe y'all know i love this one y'all know i love it okay i'm bringing it back because i miss it and i just want to this is such a beautiful sugary almond white floral fragrance so many of y'all have told me that y'all purchased this because of me and y'all are obsessed 
and yes like you should be okay this the almond in this is so sweet and i think that's because of the added tonka and vanilla that comes out i love this fragrance and people love it on me i get so many compliments it's such a nice scent so i just wanted to bring it back and revisit it um okay moving on we have ysl libre intense let me tell y'all something okay i haven't used this much at all clearly clearly this is just a 50 mil right no, this is a 30 mil. This is a one fluid ounce. Y'all know me and my one fluid ounces, okay? I could put a big dent in a one fluid ounce super, super quick, okay? um, I kind of stay away from this fragrance because my first encounter with this one was so bad. It was so bad and really it was my own fault because I, I know that I don't like lavender and this definitely is heavy on the lavender. Um, the lavender has to be done extremely right for me to love it like how it is in cloud because y'all know cloud also has lavender But it has to be done extremely right. So I over sprayed YSL Libre Intense and it took me out Okay, migraine city and after that I just felt like I didn't want to reach for it I didn't want to wear it. I didn't enjoy it like maybe one spray here and there just to like test it out but actually wearing it no ma'am so I want to now, I want to wear it now, but honestly, smelling it now, why do I feel like this is more so for spring? Like, I'm smelling it now, and I feel like I don't want to wear it now for winter. I kind of want to wear it for spring. I don't know, but I am going to wear it once. I'm going to put it on this tray, and I'm going to wear it once, and I'm going to test it out, and I'm going to see what happens, and, and we'll just go from there, okay? I will be sure to update y'all, but moving on. Um, I'm bringing in a new perfume that I got. So this is my Britney Spears Fantasy Naked. So I will have a review coming up of this because I have been wearing it. It's not a bad scent at all. This is more of like a sparkling, clean peach scent. And that's all I'm going to say about it because like I said, I am going to do like a perfume wrap up talking about my new fragrances. So that will be in it. Another one that will be in it will be my Kayali Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli 64. I had to really get my thoughts together on this one. I had to really get my thoughts together on this one. And um, yeah, I will talk about it in that video. Um, another little travel size that I'm going to bring in to finally use up because I think I'm going to ask for this perfume for my birthday. This is my Killian Princess perfume. And look at this. Look at how much is left in my little travel spray. Like this, I'm going to be able to use this one time and it's going to be finished, okay? But I really, really like this scent. And the reason why I really like this scent is after using my Truly Unicorn Fruit Perfume, I realized that both of these perfumes have the same acai green tea note in them and this this truly perfume made me want to pull out this because of that note the green tea note the um like earthy kind of smell from it i really enjoy that now especially when it's mixed in with something sweet and you guys know killian princess is it has that marshmallow note as well so that tea that green tea note mixed in with the marshmallow i'm just i'm with that right now i'm really loving that so the truly perfume is what made me inspired to bring in that and i will be getting a big bottle of that for sure Okay, and then the very last fragrance that I'm going to be bringing onto my tray is going to be my big bottle of Juicy Couture, Juicy Couture, the original EDP. This, this used to be a hate. I hated this fragrance, okay? This was back when I didn't know any better. I didn't know anything about like top notes and base notes and what they're supposed to do and how they can transform on the skin and everything. I just saw that this perfume had like fruity notes in the top. It had like some watermelon um, I saw that it had some citrus and then in the dry down it had creme brulee and vanilla That's all I saw and I, and I think caramel as well So I was like give me that perfume give it to me not knowing that this is a heavily Based white floral fragrance and you definitely get those white florals in here for sure. Okay, this is now this is now one of the perfumes that I love so much and I love mixing it with more gourmand fragrances because it really the gourmands really bring out the base notes in this fragrance and i feel like those like really fresh notes in the top and mid the florals and the um kind of fresh fruits and everything it brings out a different side of a gourmand fragrance and i really like that combination together so this is definitely one of my favorite perfumes as you guys can see i've used a good bit of this 100 ml bottle i really really enjoy that one so and it's one of my favorites during the winter time like i always love to wear that fragrance when it gets cold so now that i'm a little bit more versed 
in my perfume taste and understanding perfumes and their notes and how they can transform on the skin this has definitely become one of the ones that i really like wearing so i'm definitely going to get some good use out of that one and enjoy it but you guys that is everything these are all of the fragrances that i'm going to have on my tray y'all already know i'm about to lift y'all up so we can see all of the pretty bottles on the tray but this is everything you guys i feel like i'm really 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 going to enjoy my tray this time around i feel like these perfumes are definitely perfect for the winter time um some of my favorites are on here some really really good ones are on here i'm definitely going to have some layering combinations come in for some of these obviously so just stay tuned make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button i appreciate you guys so much for watching leave me a comment down below if you like this video give it a big thumbs up if you're new you should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button join the fragrance and beauty army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that i upload a video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace